I'd done one experiment when I was when I was a graduate student that led me to be interested in cancer and the immunology using the immune system to attack cancer, and that was wasn't anything new f for the field. I mean, a number of people, including Lloyd Old, who later became my friend and mentor in New York, had since the 60s, early 60s, been well, wasn't that long before them, but had shown that you know you could get immunity. But I cured these mice. I had cured mice of leukemias by treating them with this enzyme, asparaginase. And uh, these, these leukemias can't make asparagine, this amino acid. They need it to grow. And so if you deplete it in the blood, they just starve to death, basically. But I, I cured some mice, and you inject it in their, in their peritoneal cavity, and, and they, get, they, get, they swell up for a while. Inject this enzyme, and it just goes away in, in a few days. I thought, that's cool. But then I injected them again with the tumor just to see what would happen, and they rejected it. And inject them again with 10 times as much, and inject them t with 10 times as many cells, and they reject that. And I thought, wow, you know, this is, this is something. And at the time, there was a concept that was put forth by, by several people, actually, but, but said that uh, it was the, called immune surveillance of cancer. And the notion was that the reason you have an immune system is to protect you from cancer. You know, your body's so complex and you have all these regulatory things that try to keep it all together, but, you know, people just couldn't imagine that that could work so perfectly all the time. And so the notion was you're constantly getting cancers, little bitty ones, you know, one cell or a few cells, but your immune system's wiping them out and you never know it. And so that was an interesting idea, very, very compelling. But people did some experiments, you know, in, in mice that were thought to nude mice that were thought to lack immune systems, you know, and and, and there were a variety of experiments made. But the bottom line was eventually became clear that these mice that didn't have immune system didn't get cancer at any higher frequency than mice that had an intact one. But it was actually. There was a flaw in that work. But, any, but anyway, the whole idea of immune surveillance fell out of favor for a while. And, uh, and the whole notion of using the immune system to treat cancer, I mean, you don't need to have, it doesn't matter that, that whether immune surveillance is true or not. You could still you know, think of, even if it's wrong, you could use the immune system to attack tumor cells. So, but anyway, for a variety of reasons, people just didn't, didn't take that very serious. And, it became, other than a few people, Lloyd Old at, uh, in, in New York at, at Memorial Sloan Kettering was, was one of those who, you know, constantly just kept that, that idea alive and just constantly worked at that.